I am at Long Island Cafe. So I'm here today to help them kick off their new challenge. And it happens to be breakfast, my favorite type of challenge. So I feel like I won the lottery. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another food challenge video. Today I'm in Portage, Michigan. I am at Long Island Cafe, about to help them kick off their breakfast challenge. Now I am very, very excited for this one, mainly because I have always wanted to help a local restaurant in my area start a food challenge. So when Josh, the owner, reached out to me, who had seen some of my videos and had heard my name, I got really, really excited for this and I totally agreed. So I'm here today to help them kick off their new challenge. And it happens to be breakfast, my favorite type of challenge. So I feel like I won the lottery. This challenge consists of their most popular breakfast item, the tsunami omelet. And this is going to be doubled. So this will be a six egg omelet filled with ham, some bacon, some sausage, some cheese. There will be a side of hash browns, a side of toast, and a side of their specialty cinnamon roll pancake. I cannot wait to try that. There's also a large drink included. Challengers have one hour to complete it. If you do get the meal for free, a t-shirt and go up on their wall of fame. Now, since I'll be the first person taking this challenge on, if I can beat the challenge, I will also get to name it. And then the next person that comes along, they still would get the meal for free and the t-shirt and go up on the wall of fame if they finish it within the hour. But if they could beat my time, if I finish, they will also get to rename it. So very, very cool. Now I've ate here before and I will tell you, this is the best breakfast in Portage. Yep, I said it. So without further ado, let's go inside and kick this off. All right, we're gonna get started here on the count of three. One, two, three. Start with the toast. Very good. A lot of meat on this one. Tons of gravy too, which is helping to get it down. I know how much you guys love the big spoon, so it's here. <laughs> the most I ever won doing one of these was $700. $700, no, not $700,000. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> This is so good. This is their number one seller, the Tsunami Omelette. <clears throat> and I can tell why. Unpopular opinion, hash browns do belong in omelets.
the hash browns inside were a good idea. This thing's awesome. Now the drink is required, like I said, and I went with diet soda because gotta watch the calories with this. Almost seven minutes in. I'm not really sure how much further I'm through the omelet, but it still tastes awesome. Number one seller. And you can tell why, like I said, this thing is delicious. I love the gravy on top. Over 10 minutes in, we're almost there. Some oranges, just cleanse the palate a little bit. Good to go. That thing's gonna be awesome after eating all this savory. That's a sweet, the cinnamon roll pancake, so should be nice. This is my one drink I have to finish. Almost done with that. All right, drink's gone. Work the rest with the water. Ooh, this thing is definitely a beast. A couple more bites of the omelet and hash browns. Last bite of omelet. Oh. giant fork for the pancakes. So just under 20 minutes in, only thing I have left is these delicious looking cinnamon roll pancakes from one of their specialties.
Oh yeah. That's amazing. A real nice way to cap off the omelet. Very savory, salty, because of all the meats, but very delicious with something sweet. A little chewed, but very delicious. Ooh. Can't believe I'm saying this, but these are very sweet. I thought all the savoriness of the other up of the omelet. Now I'm starting to feel the sweets, but these are so good. Ooh, a couple more bites left. A lot more challenging than I thought. Last bite. Ah, thirty one minutes and forty seven seconds. Woo. Delicious, what a lot of food. All right, so there you saw it. I finished the breakfast challenge at Long Island Cafe in Portage, Michigan. I finished in 31 minutes and 47 seconds to be the first winner. So now the challenge will be named after me. It is now known as the Nathan Klein Breakfast Challenge. Um, I gotta say, like I said, best breakfast in Portage right there. Uh, but that was a lot of food. You saw me struggle a little bit towards the end, especially with that pancake, it had cooled down. But I gotta tell you, the mix of the 
savory with the omelet, with the sweet with the pancake, absolutely delicious. Had to get a little careful there. I was getting kind of full. Uh, but the food is phenomenal. Big thanks to Danny, the cook, for making that for me, letting me go back in the kitchen, watching him prepare it. Um, big thanks to Hunter, the marketing director. Um, him and I have worked on this for a couple months now, setting this up. Really, really appreciate him. Big thanks to Josh, the owner of Long Island Cafe, for reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity to help the community and help myself um, reach one of my food challenge goals. This is awesome. Really, really appreciate it. And big thanks to the entire staff at Long Island Cafe. Great group of people. Um, really liked working with these guys. Now, this challenge is officially kicked off February 9th. You can go in and try the challenge if you want. Um, and if you beat it, you can get it for free, get a shirt, go up on their wall of fame. But if you can beat my time, then you can rename it after you. If you're not up for the challenge, please make sure to go check these guys out anyway. Like I said, phenomenal breakfast food, great people. You will not be disappointed. They also have a location in Battle Creek where they serve some of the same items. So if you're not in the Kalamazoo area, you could also go check it out if you're in the Battle Creek area. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.